I dislike war, period. So therefore, as far as I'm concerned, it should stop. It was July 14th, 1966, when I went to pick up John Coltrane and his musicians at the train station. Everyone came out except Coltrane. I looked all over for him and found him in a car of the express train playing the flute. I was so surprised. Then he looked at me and grinned. I asked him a question. Why were you playing the flute? He said that he was searching for the sound of Nagasaki. I was extremely moved by this. I asked him if he wanted to go straight to his hotel, and he said no. He said he wanted to go to the atomic bomb hypocenter. For me, that place is sacred. It's the same as a gravesite. He took a wreath of flowers and put it down in front of the pillar. And then he stood up and he prayed. He was praying and looking up at the sky. He just kept staring up above the pillar for a considerable amount of time. I asked him why, and he replied that he was imagining the sounds, the plane, the bomb, the suffering of the Japanese people. I think that Coltrane had studied about all of these things, and for that reason, he chose to come to Nagasaki on his Japanese tour. My name is Yasuhiro Fujioka, but known as Fuji because of very long and difficult name for foreigners. So uh, everybody calls me Fuji, like Mount Fuji. I'm a journalist, a lecturer, a businessman, and chef. I'm also the author of four books on John Coltrane. I admit it, I am obsessed by John Coltrane. I am the number one collector of memorabilia of John Coltrane. Coltrane's concert in Nagasaki was something special. I was the announcer that night. The second song was Peace on Earth. He must have wanted to perform that here in Nagasaki. The whole concert hall was totally caught up in Coltrane. It was an amazing atmosphere. Why John Coltrane is so special for me is he came to Japan, he played Peace on Earth. At that time, we were still so struggling from the atomic bombing, and uh, many people are still struggling, and uh, Kotre was so kind to play for us. Kotre composed the song Peace on Earth almost as requiem for victim of the atomic bomb, as well as his wish to stop all war. That made me so, I don't know how, how to say, uh, more, uh, I can't say enough. <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> 